One year of City Water Day, we had uh, the hottest day of the summer on City of Water Day, and it was exhausting. I got off the ferry in Brooklyn to say hello to some volunteers and a whole bunch of young ladies. They were in front of our City of Water Day sign on, on Brooklyn Bridge Park, and they were smiling and they were taking their picture, and I was saying, excuse me, uh, who are you and why are you doing this? And uh, all 12 of them yelled at, in unison, because it's City of Water Day. <laughs> City Water Day was started six years ago for two purposes. One was to bring our alliance together. It's that we have a, we're now up to 730 different partners from the kayak associations to the big shippers. We wanted to find a way to bring them all together, to get them to share ideas, to have some fun on a day. This organization has, you know, reached out to all the groups as far as you can go and brought them all in under this one umbrella. And we're so thankful for MWA for putting us on the screen so we're visible. We've been doing this for years. Nobody knew. Who knew? Nobody knew. And we also wanted to communicate to the general public that theirs is the city of water, that they have a, a great resource out there that's theirs to be used, that has great potential. The idea is that we can really help connect, reconnect these communities with their waterfront. Because unfortunately, so many people who are living right alongside the Harlem River don't even know what the name of the river is that they live alongside. It's an opportunity for all New Yorkers to get involved with what is happening on our waterfront and our harbors. It's grown to uh, enormous size. I couldn't have imagined it. 25,000 people plus get out there on every, uh, every single City of War Day every year now. Through it, more and more people become part of this great environment that we have, which is, you know, the waterfront of the City of New York. Every year it's the same thing, the boat tours. I, it's getting people out on the water on boats that they didn't even know existed in the harbor that a lot of people have no clue that there are so many interesting boats, cultural, historic, educational, commercial, for-profit boats, all types. Overall, the children, that's what I take away the most. The looks on their faces, they're so excited. There's all kinds of fun and interesting things for them to do, even if they don't actually get on a boat. Anyone with an adequate kayak with reasonable proficiency is uh, welcome to come to City of Water Day. Individuals are strongly encouraged to uh, do so as part of a group. Uh, some 20 groups are paddling or rowing there. It's the convergence of boaters from all directions that uh, creates a, a certain level of excitement. It's not just us. Uh, look at those kayaks over there. Look at that rowboat over here. And before we get to the island, it's a pretty impressive sight uh, to, uh, to arrive like a flotilla, like an invasion, and it's all, it's all good fun. We're having, a, we're having a, a, an action visioning um, event in the Bronx that day where we're going to invite community members to envision what they'd like to see on this four acre property of land. The highlight uh, for the City of Waterway 2013, I'm almost hesitant to say, because it sounds so much fun and so crazy, but it's what's called the Cardboard Boat Race. We're gonna give uh, a, a, a different schools, different companies, the ability to construct a boat out of cardboard and paddle it around, around Gover on Governor's Island. It'll be all safe, but it'll be a ton of fun. I uh, hope to get out there too and, uh, and paddle a little bit and see how that all works out. Support City of Water Day. Come out, bring your family, bring your friends, and enjoy the uh, activities. Come out for City of Water Day. It's a wonderful experience, and it, once you come, you will, you will be back.